Bay traffic helicopter one off a kilo. Be over the port 500 feet, then southbound down the shoreline. East turning basins right over here, and then uh, the submarine is just on the left of the uh, crane there inside the pen. Cape Canaveral out beyond it there, you can see the horn there, and then all the way back on the far left here, almost all the way back to the vehicle assembly building uh, is pad 39A where they're going to be doing the, uh, the launch tonight. Park on the right side here. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I see it there. All right, we're going to make our turn and head down the uh, shoreline. Time of the launch schedule. What was that? Time is the launch schedule. Uh, 8.45, I believe. On the last uh, run out here, we uh, we saw some uh, some dolphins and a shark. Oh, so you know, kind of down by the by the pier actually is where we spotted most of it. So keep your eyes out for that. Quite a bit of wind up here today, but it's uh, pretty smooth. Resort places I see there, sir. Yep. Have there been many sharks? Um, you know, somebody was telling me there's a migration of them right now. Um, so I, I haven't seen a lot of sharks. Most of what I've seen have been uh, dolphins or manatees. Um, so, yeah, but uh, they're out here. Look at that pier, is it? Uh, the Cocoa Beach Pier. Okay. We're just coming up, uh, we're going to be passing 520 here on the right side. Where we had lunch, Pat. Oh, yeah. What is that place called? Is it? What is that restaurant called? Oh. And where did we eat lunch at? Patrick Tower Helicopter 841 Alpha Kilo. 841 Alpha Kilo, Patrick Altimeter 3009er. 3009er, I'd like to request to transition the uh, northern edge of your airspace and return back to the north. That's approved, sir. As you leave to the north, frequency changes approved as well. Transition approved, frequency change approved, northbound 1 Alpha Kilo.
Orlando. Dolphins or sharks, but uh, we're gonna just check it out. Right off in here, in the just about right off your left side, about uh, oh, right there. Right See there. Him? I don't know where right it is. There. Those look Brown like dolphins. Looks at that's a dolphin. I saw a dolphin, Mom. A dolphin, too, John. Yeah, didn't. A couple of them. Yeah, three or four of them out there. Your... Alright, very good. Uh, it's always fun seeing them out in the ocean. Alright, so we're going to head over uh, downtown Cocoa Beach now, and then we'll uh, make our turn and uh, go circle over the Thousand Islands. So Patrick Air Force Base is just beyond where it starts to widen back out there. Cocoa Beach High School out in front of us in the golf course. We did a lot of dredging to make uh, make all these uh, building uh, projects possible. Same thing with the uh, Cocoa Beach, or not the Cocoa Beach, the Port Canaveral Hospital out here in front of us off the of 520. Had to kind of build up the landmass before they could build. That looks a little uh, swampy. <laughs> yeah, a little. Most of the water through here is only uh, only about three feet deep. Another dolphin, maybe, may, or manatee over there. Oh, where? Ah, <laughs> uh, we already passed it. It's okay. Could things be gone by higher waters if it happens? All right, so we're going to head over back to the uh, shoreline. Then we'll uh, we'll go back into the port and uh, tour through the port, see some of the boats in there. All right. Done it. There's a couple of empty lots you could build your own house. Okay. You know, it's funny, just over here there's a whole strip that's all empty, and I kind of wonder if they're going to build on there pretty soon. That's kind of interesting. This, uh, the horseshoe over here, that, uh, that was owned by uh, Frank Sinatra at one point. And there's the Ron John shirt shop. Yep. Yes, it is. That's where we went today. Awesome. Yeah, I can't believe that place is open 24 hours a day. That blows me away. Pretty cool, though. There's the restaurant where we dined today, Dad. Yeah, that's it.
ship we, that landed in the port a couple of days after was uh, after that caused a little damage on that cruise ship uh, over at Puerto Rico. I'm going to climb this up just a little bit higher here before we uh, head back through the port. You'll be able to see the uh, Cape Canaveral Air Force Base, their runway, running from right to left out here in front of us. I'll have a nice view of the Cape and uh, Cocoa Beach before we head through the port. How am I doing, Mom? This right here, uh, the East Turning Basin. All right, we're up about 900 feet. We're going to start coming back down. I was going to reach down here and I'll pull this. A couple interesting things as we head back through the locks. Over here on the right side, all these white tanks. That's actually where they store the fuel for the Orlando International Airport. They'll have this, like, actually this is a fuel tanker that just came in. Uh, the tugs are pushing up to the dock right now. They'll offload the fuel from that. And it's just easier for them to store the fuel out here than to store it at the airport. Then at night they have a, a convoy of tank trucks that drive back and forth on 5.8. The uh, white pile over there, that's all salt. That's the Morton Salt Company. You get a lot of snow? A lot of snow, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they're using it on the roads. <laughs> so we've got the Carnival Breeze and then the uh, Disney uh, Wonder. Alright, so we're going to head out and make our turn over the uh, Canaveral locks here on the left side before we head back in for our landing. Oops. Yeah, that's been there for a while and they're just leaving it. Get there. Eddie. What? The boat? Oh, uh, yeah.
right, while we're waiting for the engine to cool down, we go and open our doors up so we don't get too hot.